Hi kids. Hi Sam. Hi. We've been looking for you. You know my brother. That goes that way. And there's a hallway that goes over here. But if you go down that hallway, just go. There's no hallway that goes that way. If you have a caution down here, you go. Hey Joseph, did you see this issue of New Jersey Monthly Magazine? John's moved up in the ranks to number 40. I heard about that. That's really impressive. And to think I was going to go to a magnet school. Really? ALJ already has a great academic standing and a bunch of extracurricular activities. I know. That's one of the things that helped make the transition to high school like, so easy. I remember freshman orientation like it was yesterday. Okay. Yeah. You have, yeah. you have home room. No, you got I have Poglia. No, you know Poglia. what? I have Khaleesi. You know what? I, don't know. I have someone named Mr. Scardelli. Oh, that's awesome. That is. I have him in period. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know what period I have him. Joseph, what are you looking at? Oh, sorry. I, had, I was having a little flashback there. Oh, okay. Part of my job as a peer leader is to make sure you get the most out of your four years here at Johnson. But we're not looking back. We're going to look forward at your future. Do you have any questions? No, but as a matter of fact, one of our viewers sent in a letter. John M. writes, I'm interested in getting my feet wet in the workplace before I graduate high school. Are there any programs at Johnson that can help me out with that? That's actually a really good question, but could be better answered by Mr. Kenyon, who teaches all of our business courses here. Let's look at my new All About ALJ app on my phone. That's really neat! What to do? It tells you all about ALJ. Hi, I'm Mr. Kenyon, and I teach business ed uh, here at Johnson High School. Number one, explain who you interviewed and what their job was. Pretty easy. Two, how did the interview make you feel? Did, did you feel excited about the job? Was it boring? Did it seem interesting? Three, are you still interested in the job? Why or why not? Uh, we have a couple different classes. Uh, we have uh, fashion marketing, sports marketing, business management, money management, which is uh, financial literacy, which you'll learn about uh, how to take care of checkbooks and how to actually plan your financial future and searching for jobs and careers and applying for jobs and careers. And number four, if you were to pursue the career, where do you think it will take you? Do you think it actually is a job you would pursue and go real high up in? Or do you think it's a job that might be kind of dead end and you know that person might or, or that wherever this job takes you it might not take you any further? Uh, we also have the DECA program. Uh, that's a, a club uh, and it's actually a, a competitive program where we will go all around the state uh, throughout the year in different forms of business, running business plans. And you can work in groups individually. You might also do some things with interviews. Um, you might have to write projects, uh, you might have to do things with presentations. Uh, it's a pretty interesting club and it should be a lot of fun if you want to join. If anyone can make business fun, it's Mr. Kenyon. Yeah, you can. Oh, hey guys, do you see the new Crusader? We're ranked number 40. We know. No. Uh -oh. oh, and by the way, one of the reasons why I've moved up in the ranks so much is because of all of the great AP classes that we have here. But what if a student wants to take a class, but they don't feel they're ready for AP? That's a great question, and Mr. Wagonblast has the answer. Let's swipe up to him and see what he has to say. I'll show you that tomorrow, Synesthesia. Cross-linking of the senses. It's a neural thing. That's why it happens. Okay, the limbic system now. I'm Mr. Wagonblast. I teach AP Psychology and regular psychology here at Arthur L. Johnson High School. AP Psychology is a great class for a whole lot of reasons. And so that's really what separates us from everybody, from the other species that, that don't have it. This is what gets us to think like humans as opposed to thinking like animals. Okay, the fact that, you know, if I put my hand in front of a wild animal, there's a real risk it's going to get bitten off. But I put my hand here in front of Joe knowing he's probably not going to bite my hand. <laughs> I did use the word probably. You have the potential to get college credit. Most colleges will give you the credit if you are able to pass the AP exam. Most of our kids here do pass the AP exam. We give the AP exam to about 75 kids every year in AP psychology. If you don't know what psychology is, psychology is the study of human behavior and its processes. Okay, but she, she couldn't get the words out that was right, so they knew that there was some sort of a lack of function there. And then that led to other things too. But that's Fernicke's area. 
you'd have a real great opportunity to learn an awful lot about yourself if you took AP Psychology. And then what you do, take your cell phone out, and as they're talking, just go, yeah, mm -hmm. right, yeah. and just use your phone. And see the difference in the way that they handle you. The eye contact, once it's removed, is a, like, I'm no longer interested in you. And in the meantime, you'd also get yourself quite ready to handle college-level studies and hopefully gain some college-level uh, credits in the process. That's very interesting. Tell me more about this recurring nightmare that you've been having. It's, it's horrible. I'm running through the halls, trying to get to class on time, but none of the doors will open. It's so frantic! That must be because of, it's hard for you to take in all the classes that Johnson has to offer. You're right, it's not just the honors classes. ALJ has puppetry classes, TV production, photography, speech and debate, and all the languages, Spanish, Italian, French. Speaking of Spanish, Miss Diaz has a new AP Spanish class this year. Let's swipe up to her and for her to tell us more. Después del verbo, siempre es el complemento directo. No importa si es una persona, una cosa, no importa. Siempre complemento directo. Hola, bienvenidos. Soy la señorita Díaz. I'm Miss Díaz. Here at Arthur L. Johnson, I teach the following courses. I teach Spanish 3, Spanish 3 Honors, Spanish 4, and a new course this year to the district, AP Spanish Literature and Culture. We already offer AP Spanish Language, but now we've added AP Spanish Literature and Culture. So, alto es un adjetivo. Okay? Cuando se usa un adjetivo, se usa tan. Cuando se habla de un sustantivo, se usa tanto. Uh, the course is the equivalent of a third year uh, level course in college. So if you get a passing score on the AP exam, you get college credit, which is definitely beneficial. Um, not only is it beneficial to obviously pass the exam, but you also get credits for being in the class. And also, it's also weighted, so it definitely helps you out either way if you choose to take this course. Oh, oh, oh Dios mío. Okay. Bueno, en mi opinión, Beyonce tiene más talento que Taylor Swift. En mi opinión, en mi opinión. Sí. Um, the main objective is to expand the knowledge of Spanish literature and culture for students and also, obviously, for them to achieve a passing score on the AP exam. Dios mío, el clase es bueno! You nailed it, Joseph. Good teaching is much of an art as is a science. Speaking of science, let's peek in on Mr. Van Bergen's AP environmental class. My name is Mr. Van Bergen. I teach uh, environmental science, uh, the AP offering uh, here at Johnson. Um, the class is really geared towards uh, students that are, that are highly motivated in the sciences, uh, as well as some of our other science courses that you'll, you'll learn about tonight. Uh, environmental science is offered to our sophomores, uh, juniors and seniors, uh, but sophomore year is the first year that they can take it. Uh, it's a very uh, challenging course. Uh, we have a double lab period once a week. Uh, and it meets in the early morning period, so the students have to be very motivated to get here. When you're talking about a living organism living in the water, it's very, very important that it has enough of the, the materials, the necessities that it needs, obviously oxygen being one of them for those bigger organisms. It's a very appropriate course for any student, really, uh, that's interested in uh, the environment. Uh, they don't have to necessarily be interested in environmental science, but anything to do with the environment, uh, it'll definitely play into their, uh, into their favor. Right, you have to, number 11 says you have to convert your results from grams per 100 milliliters, which is what you calculated it as. The AP environmental science course is just one of a number of different science courses that are available uh, to our students. Everything from uh, marine biology to forensic science uh, to AP biology, AP physics, AP chem. It's just uh, basically it's, a, it's, it's really up to them where they want to go in terms of the sciences. We, we probably have more electives in the sciences than most any other school that I've, I've talked to. A great class taught by a great teacher. Did you know that Mr. Van Bergen was named the Teacher of the Year for 2011-2012? That's awesome! Isn't it? Say, have you guys seen the latest NJ Mumbley? We have. Yeah. Well, Old take news. it anyway. I like your watch! Thank you. 
Well, I hope you have a better idea of what ALJ has to offer. You sure did. You set a fine example by teaching me things I didn't know before. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to them. There's a camera! Does that mean we have to do a big musical number? Do you hear that? Yeah, and it smells like teach beer. Welcome, Welcome to, to Crusader, Crusader Country! Country.